Hi everyone, thanks for watching my online lesson on dividing into a ratio. So this question says, a piece of wood is of length 45 centimetres. The length is divided in the ratio 7 to 2. Work out the length of each part. So when we're given a ratio to divide something into, we're basically saying that one part of, in this example, this piece of wood has to be 7 centimetres long for every 2 centimetres that the other part is. So 7 and 2 is in the ratio 7 to 2. So is 14 and 4. And we could just write out our multiples of 7 and multiples of 2 until we have our answer. And they have to add to make 45 in total. But there is a quicker way of doing this. So I'm going to write out the ratio they've given me to start with. If we look, at the minute this ratio adds together to make 9. I want this ratio to add to make 45 because that's the length of wood that they have given me. So to get from 9 to 45, I am multiplying by 5. So if I multiply my ratio by 5, so 7 times 5 is 35, and 2 times 5 is 10, that gives me my answer straight away. So 35 and 10 are in the ratio 7 to 2, and they add to make 45. So my two lengths of wood are 35 and 10. Here's a second example. This one is slightly harder because there are three numbers in my ratio this time, but it doesn't make it much more complicated. So this question says, Amy, Beth and Colin share 36 sweets in the ratio 2 to 3 to 4. Work out the number of sweets that each of them receives. Now in the last example, it didn't matter the order of the ratio. I just wanted to divide up the piece of wood. In this example, the order does matter because the 2 represents Amy. Because they listed Amy first in the question, the 2 represents Amy. The 3 represents Beth. And the 4 represents Colin. And I need to make sure that I don't mix up this order because the answer is asking me what each of them got. So what I'm going to do to start with is actually write A for Amy, B for Beth and C for Colin. So I know which person gets what amount. So I'm going to write my ratio underneath. My ratio is 2 to 3 to 4. So at the minute, this adds up to 9. What I want it to add up to is 36. So to get from 9 to 36, I'm going to multiply by 4. So if I multiply all of the numbers in my ratio by 4, I get 8, 12, and 16 and let's just double check do these three numbers add up to 36 yes they do so this is my ratio so this is the amount that each of the people gets so my answer is Amy gets 8 uh, Beth gets 12 and Colin gets 16 sweets here's a question for you to try this one is slightly harder but pause the video have a go and then unpause when you're ready to see the solution. Here's the full solution. So we've got Melissa, Becky and Daniel and they share it in the ratio of their ages. So that's 13 for Melissa, 12 for Becky and 9 for Daniel. At the minute these add up to 34. So I have to multiply by 2.5. That's slightly harder. They can give you ones even harder than this, but that would normally then appear on a calculator paper. So the three numbers I get are 32.5, 30 and 22.5. 
I've just double checked that they add to make 85, which they do. And this question is actually asking how much does Becky have? Well, Becky is this one in the middle, so Becky has 30 pounds. Thank you for watching.